Hey, what's up guys? This is Krishna here. This is an update to Vellum Grains Tutorial Part 2. So, um, there are two things I want to cover here. First one is when I did the tutorial, here was the result, and I stopped it right there, approximately. And then, when I was uh, looking at it later on, I realized that there's some problems here, like right there. So that, that shouldn't happen, okay? Number two is one of the artists asked me how I rendered this uh, with dual material. One is this and one is this one. So I'm going to show you both of them now, okay, very quickly. Um, first thing is going to Infection. Let's go into Solver number two. And go to Infect Spread. And go inside and comment out at cd equals one zero zero that way now inside of auto Delta network in soft solver we cannot attribute trains for color anymore because that doesn't exist therefore we use in fact instead so delete that now let's create an attribute wrangle Connect that there, connect this here, and let's now add if at infect equals one, then at cd.r equals one. That's enough, okay? So now, if you go back and run this through, is it 74? Something like that. Okay, so now you can tell that is no longer a problem, okay? <clears throat> so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next thing is that one of the artists asked me how I rendered this uh, with two materials. One is this one here and another sand. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you that, all right? So now let's create a geo. And then I'll call it pig. Let's go and I'm go off here. Pig. And create an object merge and bring in inside of source, bring in out. Okay. There. That's your pig there. And let's subdivide that. And then let's subdivide it three times, I guess. And let's color this. Next is let's bring in object mesh, another object mesh, and now let's go into infection and bring in the out solver. This time I want to do the attribute transfer. Just like we did in Autodop Network. We're going to bring in the infect and we're going to create an attribute wrangle here. And we're going to say if in fact equals one and at cd.r equals one. That's enough. Now you see that that happens. This is good. And then let's we're gonna delete SOP here. And we're gonna say delete non-selected entity points and we're gonna say delete by expression at cd.r equals one. There. Okay. So that comes up. So we want the opposite of that. And that would be that one. All right, good. Now let's just create an attribute delete node and delete the color. So we back to original. Now you can see when the pig skin gets deleted, the points show up. Okay, so that's that. And let me go into Autodesk Network and enable gravity, delete hot land. Make sure that also works. Okay. So I'm going to save uh, as update. Oops. Oh, update two. That's the plus. Okay, because I was trying out earlier. Okay. Um, so I'm going to render this and I'll get back to you once it's done.
Okay, so the rendering is done now. There you go. So you can tell it's working. So um, a couple of things here, okay? So obviously I created a bunch of lights, camera, uh, the camera was already there, um, and Wretched RLP. And I went into Shop Network and I created big material, which is plastic and sand. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was the, um, in the sand material, turn off the reflection because if you put on reflection, then it's going to be reflecting off and you're going to, you're going to find yourself uh, caught up with a lot of noise. Okay. And, uh, the next thing also is that what I did in the original, original thing here like that is, um, I went into, let's see, Green's Bellum, right? Uh, yeah, that's the main one. Okay. So I went there, I went into uh, Green's and I press sand. That way, if you go inside now, there you go. So you've got all that stuff. All right. So that's, yeah, so there you go. Now your render will look slightly different. So for example, what is this, 96? 96 looks like that. Mm -hmm. So let's do a, another render. Your current frame, and I can use different. Okay, there you go. So now, okay, so that's the uh, render I did earlier, and this is after the uprise. Okay, so this looks much better. So I did that also, and now uh, what else? What else am I missing? Oh yes. Um, so in Grains Vellum, you need to go into Redshift OBJ, go into Particles and render object as particles. Now you can change the global scale multiplier if you want, but I didn't do it. Um, so that's about it. I think uh, we covered all. Uh, so yes, there you go. All right, thank you. Have a good day. In part three Bell and Grains tutorial, we had a problem where the um, red particles turned into black after it was activated. Now, um, in that I told you guys how to resolve this issue by going into the infection and increasing the uh, sub-steps of these two solvers here, solver one and two, and or by using, uh, increasing the search and points to search to a higher number. But also, <clears throat> and also I uh, said that you could increase the sub-steps of the Autodoc network um, or by reducing the sources scatter. Now, one of the artists came back and asked me um, how we can do this without doing any of that because he wanted a higher scatter count but a slow disintegration, okay? Now, um, those methods I told you um, during part three tutorial does work However, I have a better fix for you, okay? So this update is about that. So now let's go into infection. Go into solver number two. Let's disable this CD equals one comma zero comma zero, okay? So there's no color information there. Um, however, you do get infect equals one, all right? So that's what matters. And go into Autodop Network and do soft solver. And instead of bringing in CD, let's bring in Infect. And let's delete the CD. Okay, and leave the conditions at 10. That's okay. Now let's add a new attribute variable. And say if in fact, equals one. Then at cd dot r equals one. Okay, that's it. And then let's connect that to here. Oops. And let's look at new geo. Uh, yeah, that's fine. 
see. Uh, yeah, that's also fine. Right, great. Now let's uh, run this through and see if this works. Okay, so that that now works. Notice that. There we go. And everything is okay. Right, so the reason I think it works is because now I'm doing the CD conversion inside of the soft solver. Previously, it was done outside here in the infection part here, uh, inside of the solver number two. Now, I, for some reason, the soft solver doesn't like the CD conversions happening outside of its realm. Therefore, um, if you do that inside, it works so yeah that's a better fix for you now you can you know slow it down uh, increase the scatter to a higher amount and it'll work all right thank you